Hey, my pretty ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. If you not, if you haven't been here before, hi, I'm Silky. If you have been here before, you already know who I am. Thank you for being here. Everybody, if you have not subscribed yet, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and give this video a thumbs up. And please don't forget to hit that notification bell because y'all forgetting. Like, don't you want to know when I got a new upload? Yes, yes, you do. Cause you don't, you want, you do not want to miss what I got coming all this year, honey. So please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, okay, you guys? Today we are here with the Wahala 2 palette. I've been having it for a while, you guys. I'm so sorry I didn't review it way before, almost two months ago, maybe three, I'm not sure, whatever, you know. I apologize, you guys, okay? Without further ado, you guys, you're already here. Stay here, because you don't want to miss how I came up with this look and what other products I use for my lips and a little bit of highlight, just a little snippet, snippet, snippet of his, this, this, and that. Just stay tuned because you don't want to miss what's coming next. Until next time. All right, like I said in my intro, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna go on with the Wahala Two palette, yes. I've been having her. I'm just now doing a review. Blase, 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 whatever. So we're gonna go ahead and get into this palette. I did not get the lippies because I'm not really fond of pinks. You guys know that. But um, that Vanessa Na Nami color, go grab it. Legit, dude, go grab it. But let's go ahead and let's get a look going with the. Wahala 2 palette. Yes. All right, Julius Place have started this new thing where they start putting tape on the outside of the product so you know nobody getting your ish, your shit. Comes out like this, like all the other palettes. This is the box on the outside. And it has the bubble wrap as usual. Pull that off. This is the actual palette. It looks just like the box. We have You open it up. This is how it looks. Got the film as usual. We keep these to the side, recycle. This is the actual color scheme inside the palette. So this palette has four pressed glitters and it has 15 shimmers and also 11 matte shades. I believe that is a total of 30 shades in this palette. And these shadows are really, really pretty. Now, I feel like you got your more nudes on this side. You could actually do a natural look out of this palette, which is good, because some palettes you can't do something dramatic and something natural, um, or, you know. But it has really pretty shades. The names are really pretty. It's 30 names. I'm not about to go over all the names. I'll just name off the ones that I'm gonna use actually on my eyeshadow. But you have your blues like a mint shimmer green, a dark gr forest green. You have like a blue, a ocean blue. You have your shimmer um, uh, silvers over here. You have a, this is actually a, a glitter. This is a glitter, this is a glitter, and this is a glitter. So, you know, we're gonna go ahead and see what we can do with this look. I'm thinking more of a long blue, pink, and green. Cause those are like the main colors in the palette. You can't really see it because I feel like the packaging is really busy, so it kind of it kind of take your eye off of the colors. But it's more pinks. It's more of a pinky, bluish, greenish palette. But we gonna go ahead and we gonna find us a look. We gonna get it done. It's gonna look bomb. Let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in so you can get a closer look at what I am doing. I'm gonna go ahead and go on my um, P. Louise base in Rumor 01, all on my lid. I'm gonna go ahead and go on with these Juvia's Place brushes right here. I'm gonna take the fluffiest brush in the collection, I'm gonna have blend this out. I'm gonna go on with this dark forest color, Ekbami, I think. I'm gonna take this brush right here. I'm gonna pack that color 
on the outer corner. I think I'm gonna do another cut crease today, y'all. Um, a half cut crease, maybe? We'll do a half cut crease. So I'm gonna go ahead and take and put this color half the way. You just wanna go ahead and pack it in. With me, I have to go with my head around and around because I have creases. So. It's too big, it's too wide, it's too strong, it won't fit. I cleaned that same brush off and I'm gonna go right into Lust and put that right on the edge of that one. That color. I want to kind of take that one over into the crease. We're going to take Lust over like that far. Right there, that's it. Softly start to tap that color up just a tad to blend it out a little bit. So it won't be so harsh for the next color. This is about to be beautiful. I can see it. This next color, I can't clean the brush off, so I'm going to actually have to find another brush. I'm going to take my M456 brush. I'm just going to go ahead and go into Lit just to blend the edges of that Lust color out. That one's really pigmented. Okay, yeah, that's it. Sometimes you don't know when you're trying to put looks together what colors to go in with. And then just start slightly blending. Everything should start blending together really good now since I put that color down. And just blend everything out but the blender you could take that all the way inner corner of the eye is not going back and forth it's circular motions all right we're gonna go back into all the colors place them back down and then blend it out next color I'm gonna go in with is gonna be wasted I'm gonna take that with my M456 brush and I'm gonna put that in the inner part of my eye so see how we got that gradient going a little hint of color right there. I'm gonna go ahead and go on my Rumor Zero base by P. Louise and cut my crease. I'm gonna go ahead and go on my M224 brush, like always, to cut my crease. Well, most of the time, but this is the one I like the best. Saturate your brush in that base. That was so pretty, you guys. I'm just gonna go ahead and go on my 330 brush. I'm just gonna go ahead and buff this out. All my other brushes from Julia's Place have already been used on other things. I'm gonna go back into my R37 brush and go back into that green forest color and place that right on the edges to diffuse that color back this way. Just kind of tap it in there. Some tapping motions, make sure your eye is open, you're looking down. So it'll come out nice and flawless. Put it kind of heavy at the end and just tap your way in and tap it till it looks gradient. Just like that. I'm going to take my M433 brush and go into waste it right next to that green and then next to the orange I'm going to take too much. Same brush. That is what it looks like on a clean brush. It's a pretty color you guys. Make sure your base is nice and flat for this for sure you guys. overlap that color into the other one and when you feel like you can't get those edges take you a flatter brush this one is the M167 brush and this is gonna get closer up in that crease all right now I'm gonna go ahead and go back into the R37 brush go back into that forest green color Tap it in there and force that color back down and kind of overlap it onto that orange ever so slightly. All right, I'm going back in with that M167 brush. I cleaned her off and I'm gonna go ahead and go into Too Much, which is that pink color. And I'm gonna introduce it to my inner corner. Before I do that, I wanna make sure it is nice and flat.
All right, let's go back in with those colors and just make it more pigmented and let's go to the next eye. I wanna sharpen up the orange at the top, so I wanna take that M167 brush by Morphe again, go back into that orange color, which is wasted, pack it on that brush, and just pack it into the top up there. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into Lust, and I'm gonna put that right there. Yeah, that's what it needed. It needed lust. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with Beats by Deb Hydro Liners. You can get these at Beats by Deb Cosmetics. Go ahead and try them out. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with Firefly. I'm gonna go in with my Suva Beauty brush in the number 610. You put the brush in water. You put the water in the pod that's on the brush. Brush it around until you get it to the consistency you like. Can you guys see me? Okay, good. All right, now that we got that um, down, we're gonna go ahead and go in with my NYX matte, matte black and line the top of my eyes. I finished the other eye off camera. My camera died, so I went ahead and finished the other eye off camera, but I didn't finish this one. So after that line, I'm gonna take this brush here. We're gonna go back into that green forest color. I'm gonna take that color on this brush. We're gonna lay it right on the edges of our um, eyeliner to blend it in. Kind of bring it over the liner as much as you can. Make it make it disappear into that color basically. Just like that. I wanna take another hydro liner. This one is called Money Maker. This is again Beats by Deb Cosmetics. I'm, I don't know, I, I wanna do something a little extra y'all. Don't come for me. I'm gonna take that green. I just wanna go right on top of my black liner. Just get that green down. If you mess up, you can take, when it kinda dries down, you can go in with your um, black liner and fix it up. But that's as far as I'm gonna go with that. I just wanna add that little green in there because I wanna put green in my waterline. Okay, I wanna take my black and just clean it up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm gonna go ahead and go off of camera. I wanna finish up my skin and I'll be right back. Okay, so like I said, I'm back. Skin is done, eyes are halfway done. We're gonna go ahead and get right back into this look. I'm gonna go in with my Neon Shockwave by LA Girl. This one is Gotcha. It is a green color. I'm gonna put that in my waterline. I wanna warm it up in the back of my hand. It's not as green as I want, but Honey, we gonna use it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and go into Lust and put that on my lash, lower lash line. I'm not gonna go all the way. Like leave just a little, just a little bit in there. 75% of the way maybe. I'm gonna take that same brush and go with too much, which is that pink color, and just put it right on the inner corner of my eye and then the rest of my water line. Just like connecting it. Perfecto. I'm gonna go on my JH40 brush. It's really small like this. I'm gonna go a little bit into Lit and Lust, mix them together a little bit like I did at the top to make that lighter green shade. And then I'm just gonna blend the edges of this color.
just to jazz up the inner corners a little bit, I'm gonna go with my Honor Roll Crayon Case Highlighter. It's just for when you turn to the side, you got that little peak of sparkle in your eye from the side. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go with my Man Eater Mascara on my top lashes. Going with your dual lash glue. I'm gonna go ahead and go back in with my Beats by Deb lashes. Why not? I have a whole book full. Okay, those are the lashes. I went ahead and I put on um, Goddess. I feel like it would be perfect, and it was perfect. Pretty. Now we're gonna go ahead and go in with Man Eater and put on our bottom lashes. All right, for my lips, I'm just gonna go in with Cola by Juvia's Place Lip Liner and just put on a gloss today. I'm gonna take this Lip Injection Lip Gloss. I'm in love with it, I'm obsessed you guys. This is how the new one looks. It's really, really cute, really pretty. This one is Stars Are Lined. I'm gonna go ahead and put this right on top. We done. This is the finished look. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this look on the Wahala palette. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next video. Until next time, bye.